I'm Bo Dealey, and welcome to Something Edible. You know, growing up, there are just a few things that seem to really stick with you. And I don't know if it's taste or smell or what it is, but uh, food seems to be one of those things that really just brings back some nostalgia. And for me, it was always those boxes of uh, lemon cooler cookies, those, those shortbread lemon flavored cookies that uh, were covered in powdered sugar. I, I loved them and uh, you just can't find them anymore. So I decided I was going to go back and try to recreate that recipe. There are plenty of copycat recipes out there, but the problem is, is none of them have these concentrated little bits of sour sweet lemon in them. And so I knew I needed to find a way to, uh, to uh, try to recreate that. And so I decided I was going to MacGyver something up and uh, it started out with white chocolate and uh, to get that sour taste along with the sweet, I'm using lemonade Kool-Aid. So uh, these are my take on uh, lemon cooler cookies. Let's get to bacon. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we need to uh, melt us some white chocolate and get that Kool-Aid in there. Um, I've got a double boiler here and I've got about three ounces of uh, white chocolate chips. That's a half cup if you don't feel like uh, weighing anything. I'm just going to put those into this double boiler. You can microwave this too, but uh, um, you get better control if you do it over the double boiler. Now, the secret ingredient here, the lemonade Kool-Aid, make sure it's unsweetened and you're going to want to use an eighth of a teaspoon. You could probably go quarter teaspoon if you just wanted to get crazy sour with this, but you really only need that eighth of a teaspoon. And the rest of it, I guess you're just going to have to make some uh, watered down Kool-Aid with it if you don't make a double batch. You can already see this is starting to melt. And, uh, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to let that uh, melt until it's smooth. And then we're going to, uh, to uh, spread it out and cool it down. All right, this white chocolate's smooth and this bowl is hot, so you're going to have to be careful here, but you don't want to uh, overdo this. Um, if you get it, or if you get water in it, or if uh, you overdo it, you're going to be melting white chocolate again. And all I'm doing here is taking this white chocolate and uh, that's been spiked with lemon, and I'm going to spread it till it's thin on this uh, silicone baking mat. You could probably use parchment for this, but uh, really, if you want to be able to get this stuff up and you want it to, uh, to, uh, to uh, remove easy and, and thin, this is the way to do it. So just go ahead and pony up the cash and uh, get yourself a silicone baking mat. You'll be happy you did. So that's all of it right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it on there and get it thin. And this is good. I'm going to take this to the freezer and just let it set up real quick for about 10-15 minutes. So these are lemon cooler cookies and you have to have a fresh lemon to do this. It's not going to taste right if you don't. We're going to need all the lemon. We're going to need the juice and the zest of this thing. And the best way to take zest off a of lemon is a microplane grater. So uh, come in here just with single strokes and take that zest off of there. Just, it doesn't have to be perfect. The main thing is, is you want to make sure you're getting zest off of there and none of the white, nasty, pithy stuff. You're going to need the zest of a whole large lemon. If you don't have large lemons, go buy you two small ones because the zest really makes this. So that's just about zested right there. You can, I mean, it's not perfect, but you can also see I'm not taking off any white stuff with it. So there it is, that's the, that's the zest of one large lemon. So now we need to get at the juice. So zest aside, um, slice this lemon in half. We only need half of the juice of this large lemon. We don't need all of it. If you were doing two small lemons, you'd use the juice of one small lemon. The best way to get a juice in one of these is not anything fancy, just one of these simple aluminum uh, enameled uh, juicers. You can take it straight into a container and if I'm feeling lucky today, I should be able to get just about an ounce out of this. So that's So we've been about 10-15 minutes in the uh, freezer with this white chocolate. 
you can see that it's kind of bunched up on the mat a little bit. And if I start to peel this off, look at that. I got these nice thin sheets of uh, white chocolate. Oh man, I got that off in one piece. That's awesome. Okay. Get the rest off here. Just, you know, I can get as much of that uh, lemony white chocolatey goodness in there as you can. So that's, that's pretty good. We'll, we'll call that good. So here's what we got to work with. And uh, you don't have to get crazy accurate with this, but what you do have to do is make sure that they get into small enough pieces that uh, they don't ruin the texture of your cookie. We want something that uh, is about the same size as a grain of rice. So I'm just gonna come in here and uh, I'm gonna break this just a little bit to get it into uh, some uniform pieces. Something that I can run a knife through. That's not bad. And then uh, from there, and it'll start to kind of break itself, you can see, as you do it. So, and make sure you keep your mitts out of the way when you cut. The sharper the knife, the better. Um, if you've used that sharp knife, if you've got it. So that's what we've got there. Once you've got pieces that are appropriately sized, take your bench scraper and uh, into the bowl and uh, lather, rinse, repeat. You want to make sure that your oven's heated to uh, 350 and uh, once you've done that then uh, it's time to uh, put the cookies together. Alright, to the stand mixer we're going to add uh, room temperature butter. It's kind of hot in here but uh, bear with and if it's a little melty that's okay. Um, and then a quarter cup of uh, powdered sugar. Don't worry about it if it doesn't sound like there's too much sugar in there because they're going to be swimming in it later. So we're going to bring that up and I'm going to bring this mixer on uh, medium. And while that starts to spin, you're going to want a quarter teaspoon of uh, kosher salt. You could use regular salt too, it really doesn't matter, it's so little, it doesn't matter. And then a uh, quarter teaspoon of uh, real vanilla. Just gonna let that go a little bit, and you're gonna need to you're gonna need to scrape down the uh, bowl as you go to integrate this stuff, especially if you got a big honking stand mixer. When we're close enough to two minutes, then you're gonna want to add the uh, the flour. You know what, you don't need to even run the mixer to do this. You don't want flour going all over the place. You can just go ahead and add that in. Just make sure you stir it when you do it. Set that back to stir. Maybe a little more than that. You're gonna need to scrape that bowl down a little bit too. This is to where we add the, uh, we're gonna add the uh, lemon zest. and also the lemon juice that we squeezed. And we're, gonna, we're just going to bring this together. Once it just starts to come together, then that's when we'll add the, uh, that's when we'll add the white chocolate. When this stuff comes together, it just barely comes together. You don't want, I mean, it's kind of sticky, it's kind of gloppy. And that's okay, that's what we want. We don't want to mix the crud out of it because we've still got to add those uh, white chocolate chips. So let's uh, go back over here, grab our uh, white chocolate, and it looks like a lot, but remember it's really thin, so it's just gonna, it's just gonna integrate real well. So I'll put that in there. And then we just wanna give this a quick stir. You could do this by hand too, but uh, I've already dirtied up a mixing bowl. Okay, and now we are ready to uh, spoon and bake. Okay, now that the dough is done, we're taking uh, teaspoon sized balls. These, these are tiny little cookies, you don't need much. I mean, you can kind of roll them into a ball if you want to. They're going to spread a little bit on you, and that's okay. And this is the really tedious part. You know, you can if you can get a few spoon, spoonfuls down and then try to uh, eyeball just where you need them. You'll notice that I'm not, 
I'm not really moving these uh, too far apart from each other. You can really cram these in here because, uh, because they're not going to spread all that much. And I think that's a pan right there. We can take that to our 350 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes and uh, let them bake. Take these out. It's been about 13 minutes. You can hear them sizzling because there's plenty of butter in there. Um, if you notice, they're just starting to brown on the edges, which is exactly what you want because if they're brown on top, then they're too done. And uh, and then they'll just be a sloppy mess and they'll be dry and nasty. So uh, we're going to let these sit for another uh, five, six minutes for them to set up because if you tried to move them to this rack right now, it would be another mess. So like I said, they didn't spread too much. So we're, we're setting pretty good. This is about how you want them. I mean, you don't want them perfect round and everything. You want them to be a little rough. You want them to be a little, a uh, little rustic looking because we're going to roll them in powdered sugar anyway. So We'll let these sit for a few minutes and then we'll move them over to the tray and let them cool all the way before we roll them. You want to make sure that these are cooled entirely because if they're not entirely cooled, then when you go to roll them in the powdered sugar, it's going to melt the powdered sugar and you're going to have this greasy, sticky slurry at the, uh, that's not going to stick to your cookies at all. So here we've got our finished, better than nostalgia, lemon cooler cookies. Oh, give me that one. Um, well, let's try these, see how they taste. They're sweet for sure, and you get some lemon, and then you get that sour in the middle. These little, you can actually see them in there, those little bits of white chocolate that have been infused with that Kool-Aid. That really makes the cookie. Um, it's going to be hard for me to uh, not go through a whole plate of these this afternoon, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, the thing about cookies is, is they're for sharing. So, uh, you know, hey guys, you want to come over here and get some cookies? Yeah, yeah. Come over here. Have some cookies. Come on, sis. I want this one. You can have that one. <laughs> it's a big one. Oh, this one. It's a big one. Go ahead. Take a bite. What do you think? Good? Mm -hmm. Okay.